Welcome to the video about self-service on Salesforce One mobile app, also referred to as the self-service mobile app. In this video, you will get an overview of the self-service mobile app features that are available in the summer 16 release of BMC Remedy Force. A beta version of self-service on Salesforce One mobile app was made available in the 20.14.02 release. With the Summer 16 release, the self-service mobile app is generally available with many additional features. It is important to note that from the Summer 16 release, BMC Remedy Force no longer supports the older self-service standalone mobile apps on the iOS, Android and BlackBerry platforms. You are encouraged to use self-service on Salesforce One mobile app which simplifies authentication and allows users to access all Salesforce applications from a single mobile app. Let's now take a look at the features that are available in self-service on Salesforce One mobile app. On the homepage of the self-service mobile app, users can click the different tiles to perform a number of tasks such as submit tickets and requests for services, view their CIs and assets, and the tickets and service requests that they have submitted, view broadcasts, self-help articles and common ticket templates, or chat with a staff member to resolve issues. The super box on the home page enables users to quickly submit tickets without opening the ticket form and search for knowledge articles, service requests and common tickets. Users can submit a ticket by clicking the submit a ticket tile. Depending upon the configuration settings by the system administrator, users might also be able to submit a ticket on behalf of others. The common ticket style lists ticket templates for issues that are commonly reported. If an appropriate ticket template is not available, users can submit a ticket for their issue from this page. Clicking the Request a Service style displays a list of categories that help users to more easily locate the service that they want to request. The categories help to group many similar services. Users can submit a service request for the appropriate service. Depending upon the configuration settings by the system administrator, users might also be able to submit a service request on behalf of others. Often, users have an issue with some of the CIs and assets that are allocated to them. The View My CIs and Assets style enables users to view the list of CIs and assets that are assigned to them. They can view more detailed information about these CIs or assets and if required, submit a ticket when there is any issue with a CI or asset. They can also view all the tickets that have been previously submitted for the CI or asset. When users click the View Tickets and Requests style on the home page, the list displays the tickets and service requests that they have submitted. Users can filter this list based on the state of the ticket or service request or the user for whom the ticket or service request was submitted. Clicking a ticket or service request in the list opens the Activity Timeline page. This timeline displays the notes and attachments that were added to a ticket or service request in chronological order. On the Activity Timeline or even the Details page, the Actions menu enables users to copy and close the ticket or service request. Users can also reopen closed tickets or service requests. The edit option is available only for submitted service requests based upon the configuration settings by the system administrator. For open tickets and service requests, users can also upload files or add notes. Again, the ability to add notes and in the case of service requests attachments too, depends upon the system administrator's configuration settings. On the home page, users can view up to 50 broadcasts and click the view self-help article style to view knowledge articles that might provide a solution or workaround for their issue. If they do not find any relevant self-help article, users can submit a ticket for their issue from this page. Remedy Force Chat can also be enabled for the self-service mobile app. Users can chat with a staff member for assistance without having to leave the self-service mobile app. If system administrators have configured categories for Remedy Force Chat, Users can select the relevant area for the issue. It is possible to change the category, but only before initiating the chat. Along with chatting with a staff member, users can also attach files. Many of these options in the mobile app, such as copy, reopen, and chat, are configurable by the system administrator. For information about configuring settings for the self-service mobile app, see docs.bmc.com. 
We hope this video has helped you familiarize yourself with the self-service mobile app in the summer 16 release of BMC Remedy Force. Thank you for watching.